I'm Dan Fitzpatrick at StockMarketMentor.com on Tuesday, May 7th. Um, just a quick follow-up on LinkedIn. Um, stock's up over 2% today. Um, I was talking about buying this yesterday using um, this prior level as support. So let's just go ahead and set up that trade so you can follow this. Um, the low is 173.72. So a good place to set your stop, it's 173.72. Hey, you know what, let's just set it at uh, at 173.52, something like that. The bottom line is you just want to have a stop and you want that stop to reflect your opinion that the stock is moving higher from here and that this is the low right there. So you will know if you're wrong if this low um, is surpassed and the stock moves lower from there. So. How do you determine your position size? Okay, let's just use mental math and we'll go the easy way. 180 versus 173. Okay, that's seven points. So for each share of stock that you own, um, you're risking $7. So you own 100 shares, you're risking $700. Whatever the number is, you just need to know what it is. So if, for example, you decide you're gonna buy 100 shares, well, um, that's going to cost you $18,000. So you need to look at a percentage of, of your portfolio. Um, is this is $18,000 uh, an acceptable percentage of your portfolio to have in one stock? Okay, if it is, fine. Well, your downside is seven bucks, right? So that means that on an $18,000 investment, is it okay for you to lose $700? I don't have the answer to that question. You just need to have it. And so these are the types of little things that you need to do in order to, um, in order to manage your risk properly. If you don't know what your worst case scenario risk is, then you're not trading like you should be trading. So um, anyway, that's it for this um, chart of the day. And I hope you'll join us over at Stock Market Mentor. If not, hey, I'll see you back here tomorrow.